Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'm back with a graduation card. So I will be using this penny black stamp, this is called Grad and uh, it features this lovely lady who is graduating. I'm using my Misty to stamp her so that I can stamp her at least twice to get a nice crisp image and I'm using black ink by Memento so that I can use my alcohol markers later on to color her. And since I posted a couple of days ago a review on these Nouveau alcohol markers, I decided to use uh, these for coloring the girl. So I am using my skin tones here and later on I will move into using the set with the red colors and uh, then I'm going to mix up uh, grays with blues for her gown. Now I'm not going to leave the whole coloring in and I have sped up uh, the video process but um, you can see that I am just using the three colors that were included in the red set for creating my shadows and I'm going to show you just a part of how I colored her gown with my grays and uh, the darkest of the blues. So here as I am coloring her sleeve you can see that I am mixing uh, two different sets. So these are the two darkest shades of grey from the greys set and I am going to mix up uh, the darkest of the blue. And just like I did her sleeve I am going to continue and color in the rest of her gown as well as her hat. I have finished coloring my girl and just because I like to pop up my focal points I decided to go all around here and cut out the image. Just because there are some parts of this image that are really difficult to cut I decided to leave a white space, a small border all around. Now if you cannot do it directly you can use a pencil like I am showing you here to draw where exactly you want to cut out. I don't feel that I need this uh, pencil line so I will go straight ahead and cut out my image. You can see that the girl is cut out here and I have this uh, black panel which is four and a quarter by five and a half in, in size and I'm going to use this uh, star die. These are by Tonic Studios and I'm using the fourth from the outside so I'm going to place it on top of my card I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine and I'm going to run it through by the way on my blog I have uh, some uh, great sales on uh, everything Sizzix so you will find uh, great deals on the Big Shot machine if you are in the market for a die cutting machine as well as on many dies. So anyway I am going to run it through my uh, Sizzix machine and now I end up having a panel with a star window. Now I want my graduation card to be really striking so I decided to go with uh, black and gold as a color combination. Now I want to create a frame for the star for my star window so I'm going to use uh, the die that I used to cut out the star as well as the larger one just one side up so I'm going to nest them one inside the other and again I'm going to run it through my big shoot. Now I have a beautiful star uh, frame for my window I'm adding some glue at the back and I'm going to stick it just around my star window. So this is going to give a beautiful finish on my window and a lovely touch of uh, shine. I am going for a shaker card here so at the back I am using my ADG gun and I'm adding some tape adhesive so that I can stick on top my acetate. And my window is looking pretty already so now it's time to stick my focal point. I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back of her and I'm going to stick her coming out of uh, the star window. Now I am going to try and uh, place her just inside her feet, inside that star, but um, just because I had already added that uh, tape at the back, it doesn't stick as uh, far down as I wanted to, so I will have to chop off her feet just a little bit, nobody will never know, so that I can stick her as far down as I want to. I always like to ground my focal images somehow so they don't look as if they are floating and that's why I wanted her feet to be just inside the star. Anyway, I, at the back now I need to add some tape adhesive all around the star so that I can create the pocket for my shaker mix and then I'm also going to add foam tape all around the border. 
So I went with gold for my shaker mix and I have added that inside my window and I'm going to, cov to peel off all the bagging from the foam adhesive and then stick on top my golden uh, cardstock. So this way I will have a background that is gold with gold sequins. In the stamp set along with the girl there is a sentiment that says congrats grad but I decided instead of using that to use this uh, die cut that says congrats. This is also by Penny Black from a previous release and just because I don't have um, any space there to stamp my sentiment I decided to go with a die cut. This is a great way and I really love to do that when there is nowhere to stamp a sentiment. Now I am going to cut it out from the same gold cardstock that I used for the background and the frame of my star and I'm also going to cut out this word again two more times out of black cardstock. And I'm going to stack all those die cuts one on top of the other having the gold on top. This way I will end up having a nice die cut which is thick and it's going to give a great dimension on top of my card. And I used black cardstock instead of white because this way it's going to blend nicely with the background. And now again I'm using my glue pen at the back of my sentiment and then I'm going to stick it on top of my card. And now for the finishing touches I am going to add some uh, uh, gold sequins and these come from the same mix as the one that I used inside the window. And in this fine tip applicator I have a matte medium which is a great adhesive for holding all the sequins on top of your cards. Now I am also going to add some shine on uh, her ribbons. And for that I am using my Nouveau glitter pen. And finally I am going to use this Nouveau Mousse in gold to create a lovely but very subtle frame around my card. So I am just uh, dipping my blending tool there and I am going around the edges. So I am not making sure that I don't add too much, just only a hair around the edge. So this way I am going to bring everything together by having a nice golden frame. And finally I need to stick this panel on top of a card base. Now my card base is made out of white cardstock and it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm using my ATG gun to add lots of uh, tape adhesive at the back since this is a shaker card. And I'm going to make sure that it's nicely aligned. And my card is finished. And that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. I always try to read all the comments and reply to any questions that come up. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos that I created a while back. Thank you all for watching.